Hey everyone, Raider Dash in Womble here. All right, it's about 10 past six on a uh, Thursday uh, evening, and uh, well, that says five past six. Mom, well, what's it? Uh, whatever, somewhere around there. Anyway, um, yeah, just about to uh, get started for the evening. Uh, went over and got got started a bit late tonight I made a few phone calls later on in the afternoon which went on a bit longer I spoke to an old mate of mine who I haven't spoke to for oh, so a few months now anyhow we had a bit of a catch up and, and I had some other calls to make as well during the day anyhow so uh, nice bright art evening um, I think it's about what 80 odd yeah about 80 degrees Went to crack a barrel for uh, dinner tonight. Not so I recommend going back there. But um, sometimes it's better than others. Uh, they might be a bit short staffed too, but, but anyway. So, anyway, so uh, hopefully it's going to be a good night tonight. I see uh, I've got the old bright shirt on. I noticed on the way out I was uh, walking to the van and I could hear people talking about the old dash and womble <laughs> I really wasn't in tune with really what was going on I just wanted to get to the van because my wife was waiting to get in it because I was stuck behind trying to pay the bloody bill which was proving a pain in the bottom because it seems the machine wasn't working right anyway uh, so yeah let's uh, hopefully uh, everyone's earned a few quid today and uh, hopefully it's going to be a uh, profitable and uh, stress-free uh, evening for all, all the drivers. And hopefully everyone who's uh, ordering food gets their uh, food as they wanted it. Alright, so uh, let's hope for a great night. Alright, I'll be back on within a few seconds probably by the time we get all this plugged together. And... Um, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, have a great night, and uh, I'll finish up the video in a few minutes because that's how it, how it work when I uh, put the nighttime uh, uh, round up together. See what craziness has happened during the night. Oh, God, I've got to go to the Mexican restaurant. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers. Ta da. Hey everyone, uh, Raider Dashing Womble here. Seems like the leaves are falling out of the tree. One great big one just fell on the window and the windscreen and uh, I wonder what that was. Anyway, uh, all right, well, I was just looking at the uh, other video I made earlier and uh, it showed I was gonna go to the Mexican restaurant, but uh, apparently when I looked at it, it wasn't paying enough. So I didn't do it. <coughs> Uh, well, uh, hopefully you all uh, had a good night, um, stress-free, made a few dollars, and, uh, all went well for you, and hopefully the customers got their food as they wanted it. Well, I gotta tell you, tonight just didn't seem to uh, go well for me at all. Oh, what a pain in the bottom. Uh first order I took, I went and parked over by the mint. <laughs> went over by the mint. Order comes in for a double order, stack order. Uh, wing stop and wing stop in Lee Summit, which we all know is good. Uh, or has been good. And uh, then go down to Perkins. All going to the same house. Uh, I think it was only going a total of maybe four and a half, five miles. So not long or far away to go. And it was going, and it was paying $11. Actually, it was too cheap for me. Too cheap, really, because uh, I really tried to do it above that because, well, you're going to two restaurants. But the thing is, is uh, Wingstop has been really, really good. And I know Perkins is real good to go into anyway. Anyhow, wing stop tonight. 
I don't know what went on. I got there, there was cars all over the place. There were several people in there. It became a, uh, I sat down, the uh, young lady that was helping at the front was seemed to be a bit flustered, I suppose. Anyhow, ended up sitting down and waiting. Said to the bloke, well, next, that I sat next to, how long you been here? Oh, 15 minutes, and he says, there's people stood in front of me. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know what went on there tonight. I mean, they're really good. To be honest, they're really good, but I don't know what occurred. Um, when I did get out of there, Winston, the manager, he, uh, you know, he uh, said that he thinks, boy, he said it all came in at the same time. He says it just went crazy. And uh, he thought that was a football game. I have no clue. Flipping, as many of you watch this flipping channel, I don't give a monkeys about NFL or any of the sports. I'm a little fat bloke. I really don't care. I watch you in uh, proper football, but if Chelsea's playing, or England, but other than that, don't really care. Unless it's motorcycle racing, I do like that. Or World Rally Championship, I'll watch that too. But anyway, um, no, anyway, I don't know what happened. But, I mean, they were, it wasn't that they weren't working. You could see them, but it's definitely working in there. Winston, the uh, manager, he was in there vipping, giving it all he could get it done, get done in there, but seems like they had newer staff in there, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, so waited there a little bit longer than expected, which held up the other, uh, other uh, order too, but that one was already done when I got in. Well, it wasn't really anything. It was uh, a couple of slices of pie, I think, is all I had to pick up at Perkins. And like I said, it was all going to the same house. I texted the customer. I put put in a report with uh, DoorDash to say that, it, you know, there's a delay on it. The uh, restaurant is busy. And I figured that they then let the customer know, but I don't know if they do or not. Um, then I uh, texted the customer too, let them know. Didn't hear anything back. So there was like, I waited a few more minutes and then I thought, I'd better just give them a call just in case they don't get text or whatever. So uh, anyhow, I uh, gave them a call and told her what was going on and she says, oh, that's fine. Well, uh, yeah, might be fine for you, but bloody hell. I said, you know, I'll be out, once I get out of here, um, I'll get the Perkins, that'll be no problem. It's in and out of there normally. And it was. It was there waiting. And um, so I got that. Actually got me biscuits as well while I was there, because when I was in there and it was gone seven, I thought, I sod it, I'll buy some biscuits. So I got all that at the same time, really didn't take any any time at all. She was on the phone and in there and doing it all at the same time, so. Anyway, uh, got that and then headed to the customer's house, put it all on the doorstep. And because uh, it was two orders, I had to take Vipin two pictures of everything. It was daft. It went from one, one picture from uh, um, the wing stop stuff and then it went on to the other picture from the uh, uh, Perkins stuff. Like, really, why didn't you just combine it? I just took took two pictures of the same bloody thing. Anyway, yeah, uh, because I wasn't separating it or anything. Like, if there's a problem, they can figure it out. I've been to this house before. Anyhow, I've got that one, that one done. Went on to somewhere else, but, and I looked at the pictures before, before I came, looked up, came on here, and I can't remember what the bloody next one was. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, good grief. Damn, I'm getting bad. But, anyhow, I'll put the pictures up there. Um, at a jack stack. That was, uh, 
Yeah, got that one. And we got that one off to its house. There's, I had a one that was, uh, I think it was supposed to be left at the door. Oh, good grief. One of the last ones, I think it was. Yeah, actually, yeah, I went the last one. I didn't do too many tonight at all. It was actually quite a uh, slow night. And um, so, yeah, I had to go. I was going to uh, Don Chewy's or whatever you call it, Don Chewy's. Ah, oh, yeah. I'd gone past Don Chewy's and, and my wife had picked up the phone and said, that's oh, Don Chewy's. How much? Told me how much it was. I said, yeah, let's just take it. It's going to Greenwood. All right, so I'm going up the road a tad and, you know, I can turn right without any problems. Well, I'm trying to do that. I'm on 291 trying to turn and there's some bloody dipstick on a bloody uh, bicycle. No vipping lights coming across the road um, all dressed in black, his bike's bloody black, bit of green on it, and he had a green spiky hairdo, and it's his green spiky hairdo was the only bloody thing that I saw. I was not happy. I was bloody fuming, actually. And I wasn't very happy with him at all. God, jeez, he was about to get a fucking punch in the fucking mouth. What a bloody idiot, just come racing across the road. And, um... There was no lighting in that part. And I'm like trying to flip and go. He's got no lights at all on it. It's darker than flipping the up black hole of cow cutter out there at that corner. And this idiot comes and goes, oh, I'm not happy at all. Flipping fool. So, you know, you can't be out there in wearing dark. If he was coming from work or something, then you've got to know what time at flipping night you're going to be leaving. Um, you've got to know that it's it's bloody pitch. It's getting darker every bloody every night now. It's um, earlier. It's getting darker earlier every night. So, you know, we have some flipping fault behind this. Where's something that's got white on it? Where's flipping, or just better still, go get some bloody cheap lights off of Amazon or something. I mean, the few flashing lights that you get off of Amazon, the LEDs, I mean, they're only about a ten, and you get a pair of them. You stick it on your head, stick it on your bike, stick it up your flipping ass for all I care. Just flipping, put them on, and flipping, show that you've actually got bloody... Let everybody know you're in the, ro in the road. Oh, good grief. And I wasn't the only one. It was another car that had been, that was about to pull away that saw him, and he braked too. He or she, I don't know, but anyway. Anyway, so I go off to go back, double back of myself, go up to uh, Don Chewy's, and um, he, uh, so I go in there. It's the first time I've been in there. We've been to the one on the plaza, but that was years ago, and, uh, that's seemed a bit of a different place, I don't know, this one. Apparently this one, I think, was an old Applebee's. Anyway, um, so I go in there and, and, uh, it wasn't busy at all. It really wasn't busy. There was a few people in there. And, um, I wasn't sure. I saw some, some, uh, the waitress there. And uh, went up to her and said, uh, here you go, picking up for, I don't know who it was anyway, who, who it was. And she says, oh, okay, they're bagging it up. Or she went in the back and then she checked and came out. She says, oh, they're bagging it up. I said, oh, okay. So I stood around for a bit, then I went and found the seat by the door and, and sat my ass down there and waited because it was taking a bit longer than expected. My wife came in, she needed to use the loo, so she, she went in and went back out again. And then, um, then it was, it was a longer wait than it should have been. For what I picked up, it didn't seem like there was a lot there. So I don't know if they started it when I got there or what. I had to, uh, and then an order had come in for Papa John's as I, as I'd sat down in there, or as I'd gotten in there. 
and uh, it was like an extra six dollars or so and it was going near where I was uh, dropping off anyway and I went well for Papa John's only across the road I'd sort it I'll do it so I did it and uh, but all the time bloody uh, Don Chewy's they didn't seem to have any sort of rush going on obviously I couldn't see in the kitchen I can't see in there it was all blocked off and in but um, anyhow I was there at least 15 minutes at least anyway they uh, came out with that I finally went up to them and asked what was going on because I was bothered because there's another order waiting I mean if I was only waiting on that one then okay I'll just sit my ass down and wait but this other one had come in that was going in the same direction or just a little ways on from there and uh, I was concerned about that one so anyhow I, had to, I reported it to uh, uh, DoorDash again I don't think DoorDash are on it as much as uh, Grubhub were you know I was at Grubhub at uh, Johnny's Tavern uh, over the weekend I think it was uh, or beginning of the week anyway sometime this week or in the last few days or more and um, it uh, it gives you the option to uh, is report an issue well I'd been waiting for a while but a little bit for that and again you know you got to vip and let them know to say so the customer isn't giving you earache or bad feedback or anything or they can address it like I don't know if they give you extra money or whatever for it but but it um so maybe they can just inform the customer that it's, it's taken a little bit longer so with the uh, grab up I went and done that went in on their automated thing it says uh, what's called what's the weight what's happening so I just put in there uh, they're still working on it and then it says uh, how long is it going to be and it's like 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes and I put I haven't got a bloody clue that was one of the options or well, maybe they phrased it a little bit different but anyway so uh, I put that one on and uh, I barely put the clicked on the thing to say there you go off that's that's what's happening and um, barely at the send button, phone rang. Well, I was at the uh, their phone at the, at the restaurant, and it was bloody uh, grab up. Holy crikey! Uh, and within ripping seconds, there was waitresses around me ripping. All of a sudden, got the bag, got um, something else they found in the kitchen, and they were right on it. Holy crikey! What the heck did the uh, grab up do? Um. But with DoorDash, I haven't had that. <laughs> I haven't had that experience. Um, yeah, that was. But anyway, uh, got that order. Then went over to uh, uh, Papa John's. There was only one pizza to pick up over there. Put that in the hot bag. Put that in the back of the van. Got out of there. Delivered to the bloke who uh, ordered up his Don Chewies. He was round a back street in Greenwood. Got to his house and got out, and it was supposed to be a leave at the door. Bloody, I've got an itchy nose. Supposed to be a uh, leave at the door, but um, geezer came out as I got there, and uh, I said to him, "Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry it took so long." I said, "Blimey!" I said, "That's the first time I've been in there. Blimey, there, nice slow in there." I said, "They didn't have a lot of people in there, like customers, but..." Bloody hell. He says, yeah, I know. <laughs> he says, they ain't that bit. They, they are a bit slow in there. Flipping egg. Anyway, uh, so he was all right about it. So I let it, he went on in and I hit the buttons and confirmed it was uh, handed to the customer. Turned around and went flipping back to, over to uh, drop the pizza off. And that was just to leave at the door as well, so took a picture of that and that was done and dusted with and uh, I think that was it no there really wasn't like I said there really wasn't a lot at all that was worth doing um, as I said I'm trying to uh, stop 
taken pictures of of all the low ball orders, but one I couldn't couldn't resist taking it. It was a Firebirds order, I believe. I'll put it up here somewhere. It was two dollars and fifty cents for a ridiculous flipping amount of miles. And maybe I can leave it to the lady who flipping wants to uh, just use do that as a uh, just something to do from the one from yesterday's. But yeah, um, tonight for me I did get started late, granted, but it it just wasn't. I think I would have been better off staying home. It wasn't that, that brilliant at all. But I refused a lot of orders, but it was a lot of offers, sorry, but they're not, not orders until I take them. Um, they're just offers, and some of them are absolute shite offers. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow's going to be better. I've actually scheduled to start tomorrow. Uh, which I haven't been doing for a long, long time. But because it's just been uh, not so brilliant, i decided just to uh, schedule it. So I've done that for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a bit more, but anyway. And I took, what, took the uh, schedules as regards what was available. Uh, when I get in there, I'll get indoors, I'll... Um, make sure that um, maybe I'll see if I can adjust them a little bit, lengthen them out or maybe start a bit earlier uh, but no, it was um, not the best I'll tell you oh yeah, I know where the other one was Third Street Social I wasn't paying all that good for Third Street Social, but anyway I did it and the reason I remember that there was that I went to First Street Social, so social, get it out in a minute. It was as I got got in the van and uh, was uh, getting ready to leave, a whole bunch of witches went wandering in in the First Street Social. My wife started laughing at me after that because I started going in into uh, witchy voiceovers. <laughs> yeah, she thought I was nuts. She should know better. She should know already. Anyway, um, right here, started going into witchy -o. Oh, jeez. There was witches all over bloody town. Crikey. They were making themselves known tonight who they were. They put the silly hats on. The rest of the time, they just fit and eyed amongst everybody. <laughs> Anyhow. So I went off and delivered that wherever they had to go. I think that went to Greenwood as well. Oh, yeah, that one went to Greenwood and all. Seemed to uh, spend a bit of time down that way, way tonight. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, was so brilliant. You know, I went to uh, Jack Stack Barbecue and uh, the bag was as light as a feather. It's like, really, have you got anything in it? It's all, wow, someone ordered this? Mm. At the uh, DoorDash map, oh, dear, oh, what was that on? I can't remember what that was on. Oh, that might have been the jack stick. And yeah, the DoorDash map, it led me to the, uh, the wrong road tonight. And I got to the, it told me where to go, it showed me which house to go to. I get up there. And, uh, oh, it's the house on the corner, brilliant. And as I pulls up, there's a geezer come out out of the house and he was getting ready to go. So I thought, hmm. And then I looked at the address and went, well, it ain't this address, this is where it said it's supposed to be going. What the bloody hell's going off? So I backed off. And looked at, backed off the driveway, looked at it and went, well, hang on, and now it's changed it to the next street. What the hell? And I t definitely turned up the street that it said to turn up on, and it was supposed to be in on that corner. Bloody hell. So I don't know, if the map must have been having a, uh, a crazy moment. Um, crack it didn't look it chilly tonight. Oof, I went out there in shorts. And then the wind started blowing. Oh, bloody hell, it got darker. 
Oh, crikey. I'm starting to freeze me what's it's off. Damn. It was uh, getting a tad chilly. Uh, one of the times I was down there in Green Greenwood area, I was at the quick trip, ran in there, the loon came back out. And this young fella stopped me and he says, oh, you've got a YouTube channel? Because, well, you know, I'm wearing the uh, YouTube shirt tonight. And um, I said, yes, mate. My wife apparently was uh, sat in, she was sat in the van and she had the window open. She says, maybe he was just impressed that there was an old man flipping with a YouTube channel. What a cheek. Old. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he was asking all about that. So, so uh, hopefully he's found his way on there. If so, good meeting you, mate. And yes, the old, the old man can flipping work on YouTube. Maybe a boring ass flipping uh, channel, but. I don't know. Gives everyone a laugh, if not. And if you don't like someone, you can always share it with them and torture them with him. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was good meeting you. Um, didn't get your name, so uh, sorry, I can't really do a shout out. But the uh, young fella that was at uh, uh, Quick Trick near Greenwood on 150 tonight. Good chatting with you. Even though it was brief, but there you go. But I was freezing my cockers off at the time. You were all vipping, uh, dressed up in uh, warmer clothes than I was. And I guess I didn't expect it to get that chilly that then. That chilly tonight. Tomorrow I'm thinking I might be dressing a tab warmer because it's going to dip down a bit. Dip me down a little yeah, so, uh, not really a lot to uh, mention tonight. I did have a dog flipping bark, it, bark its ears off at me somewhere. It was behind closed doors, another one not really to worry about. I think it was just making itself known. Um, but it did not, it got windy tonight, so windy. Oh, uh, been looking at the uh, Halloween decorations as well in Lee's Summit. There's a house on Douglas, corner of Douglas and Orchard Street, I believe it's on. And um, they always do this nice old house. Got this um, nice wraparound porch on it. Real nice looking house. And uh, with every, every bloody um, uh, holiday, whether it be 4th of July or Thanksgiving or Halloween and Christmas. There is, oh, and Easter. They decorate the house. Oh, don't forget St. Paddy's Day. Forgot about that one. Oh, and Valentine's Day too. I'm mean, trying to keep up with everything. Anyway, I don't know if this, uh, these people have got uh, shares in inflatables, in in, an inflatable bloody uh, factory or what, but they certainly have a lot. And uh, I've got a couple of pictures, even though they're not that brilliant, I think I might go over there and get some better ones. Um, but it's always entertaining going past there because they really, like, there was nothing out there like last week. And then over the weekend, they he or she or both of them are out there. I don't know how many people were there, but just uh, put all the stuff up. And they got so many spiders. Crikey, if I saw a spider that big, I would, uh, I would fill my jeans very quickly. But, um, and he's got spiders on the roof, spiders coming down on, on uh, lighted webs. It's, uh, and they got this archway, walkway where you go into it. It's neat. It's actually neat all, all what they do. Bloody lot of work, I'm sure. I mean, they used to do that. My wife and I used to do that at our house. Maybe not with all the inflatables. We did have some inflatables up. And uh, some shite went and slashed them. And, uh, and uh, kind of lost interest after that. But we used to uh, decorate the whole house, um, add parties and that over here, put uh, um, stuff in the basement. We had uh, one of our young nephews um, 
lay in a uh, makeshift coffin down there and he'd get out and scare the life out of anyone that was coming, walking up to it. Uh, we had these sort of magic mirrors where you looked at them, infinity mirrors and that. Lots of uh, lots of lights, lots of cobwebs, lots of spider webs. And yeah, we set up tables and that in, in the uh, garage and people would come along and sit down and have something to eat. And uh, We opened up the house, people would go, mill around in there too. We had some uh, cider drinks and such, never had any booze, never, we'd never really been into that, not in our older years at least. I'd done enough of that when I was younger. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you could uh, probably see, you couldn't miss our house, that was for sure. There was orange lights going all around the house, so bright, up through the trees, all through the flipping here. Um, one year, I think I did it, it was uh, lit up the whole back garden, and and I had a trailer on the back of the ride, riding mower, and I'd uh, drive the kids through a, a little uh, haunted area around the back garden and that but it was it was a lot of uh, a lot of work that's for sure but you know it was more more my wife's thing she was more into Halloween and that but so she gets a kick out of watching it watching all the stuff now and then Christmas time I'd take the stuff down and then Christmas time it would be lights all over the place I would go crackers but but now, don't do it. Don't do it anymore. That uh, when some idiot flipping and slashed the things, just somewhat lost interest in doing it. Carried on with the Christmas stuff for a while, but it just gets t too much to do. Too much. But uh, yeah, so uh, what to do? Tomorrow I'm hoping there's going to be a heck of a lot better. I'm not going to say it can't get any worse, but um, I really hope not. But I'll be out there a bit earlier tomorrow and uh, hopefully get something out. Hope, you know, oh. and I had all three apps going tonight and uh, really wasn't a heck of a lot coming through any of through them all. It was... Uh, just a, uh, not the best, not the best night. But hopefully others, others uh, had a good day at it, or evening at it. Um, again, with uh, point pickup, I haven't gone any further with point pack pickup. I saw a couple of offers come in, but they were like for six and seven dollars and sort of barely vipping looked at them, saw how, saw how much it was and went, Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not sure. Not sure I'm even going to get any further with point pickup. But I have started if you've been clearing out the back of the van. So that's a good, good thing. Got the contraption out. That's in the garage. All right. Well, uh, I think that's it, really. I can't think of anything else to uh, talk about. Shit, I broke my bloody... Uh, uh, clip for my phone tonight uh, so now I've got to put it in my pocket I've ordered a couple off of Amazon so they'll be here Saturday bit of a pain in the arse you don't know how much you uh, rely on it until you uh, lose it but um, I was trying we've been to uh, uh, where was it um, Starbucks we were near there and I said to my wife did she want a drink she was feeling chilly in that, so I got her a chai tea, and she wanted one of these things. What was it a uh, vanilla biscotti? Anyway, and uh, so I got that, and I don't bother with these things. She likes them. But um, so I got one of those and got the uh, chai tea, and the uh, girl that was serving us, she says, oh... We've actually got a broken one. Would you uh, would you like that one too? Not sure. Maybe it'll taste better. I don't know. Maybe they taste better when they're broken. But anyhow. So she's got something else to eat tomorrow. Nibble on while we're driving down the road. 
And that's one thing people should do, drivers should do, get some snacks to put in the car. Because driving, all, moving all that food around, some of it smells pretty bloody good. Unless you're picking up from the pool tavern, then it ain't. I don't know what that was yesterday. But it, although I did see they do fish and chips. I does like fish and chips, but I'm sure it's bloody expensive. Judging by how much those people that bloke paid on his uh, bill yesterday, nearly three hundred flipping dollars just on the bit I was taking. <sighs> well, I took a lot of food in there. It didn't seem like it was three hundred dollars worth of food, but it seemed there was a lot of food that went in. But anyway, yeah, uh, here, oh, Cracker Barrel. Did I say about Cracker Barrel? Yes. Yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, going to Cracker Barrel anytime soon. Um, food don't seem to be all that brilliant anymore. And have you noticed that they actually do booze in there now? So you can go in there and have uh, wine and beer and mimosas and things. Don't seem to have got vipping many, many more people in there to vipping work, though, but, or to work or uh, buy anything, though, but... But they still have a lot of crap in the aisles, that's for sure. Um, don't seem to leave a lot of room for uh, people to go in there. You know, bearing in mind, they have a lot of families go into, into Cracker Barrel, and they have a lot of older people that want to take their wheelchairs and... Um, and such, not wheelchairs, walkers and such in there. But they've got so much crap in the aisles that you just, uh, they need to widen the aisles a bit. It's too much rubbish, too much stuff. Yeah, it's all fun stuff to look at, but but you need to uh, give room for the people that, that you're trying to vip in, uh, feed in there. It's always been the thing about Cracker Barrel with me. <clears throat> and the more you make push the more you feed people, the fatter they get, and they've been leaving less room than there is in the bloody aisles. But anyway, all right, um, thing that'll do it for me. I don't think there's uh, anything I can add to. Uh, help anyone tonight don't think i've got a lot of content that really helps anyone so uh hopefully tomorrow is going to be better for us at least and uh if any of the other drivers have uh had problems tonight and thought that it wasn't that brilliant then hopefully tomorrow or the weekend is going to be a lot better for us all hope so and any of the restaurants that have been slow tonight hopefully they uh get their acts together because I don't know if there's a football game or whatever is the Chiefs playing this week week oh no Monday Chiefs are playing on Monday oh I better schedule that too all right um because I imagine that one's gonna be a flipping busy one might have to uh, get out a tad early for that not sure what time the game is but anyway all right anyway uh yeah. thanks for watching don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon if you want to be warned of when my uh, videos are being released. And, um, yeah, all right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back on soon. Cheers. Ta-da.